Hey yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for clicking on in this one. If you could do me a favor and pepper that like button because this is one of the, probably the hardest episodes that we're ever gonna make. We're out of breath. We just towed our kayaks pretty far. I'm hoping everything's gonna be okay. Today, we're going to be fishing in a puddle with our kayaks. When I mean puddle, this is the smallest place I've honestly ever fished. Like even if I fished it by land, well, we are putting the kayaks in it today and this is going to be a crazy video. We found out that there was fish in this place about a few, <laughs> about a week ago and um, we saw some giants busting on the bank. I mean like toads, like big ones. Caught like six or seven in the matter of like 10 minutes and this is gonna be insane. So let's go ahead and drop the kayaks in the water. Guys, there's at least, oh my God, there's another one, bro. There's a two, there's three more. Dude, give me my pole, hold. <laughs> I think the GoPro is going to die if it does just use your phone. You mean the, the camera? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's like four pounders under me. Oh my gosh. He just like tried to eat my bait but he saw me. Alan, I just had a four pounder hit this dude. There's two of them under me. Oh my God, there's a monster. Oh my God, he almost ate me. Bro, he like put it in his mouth. I, they just know we're here, dude. Well, boys and girls, this is actually the little tiny puddle. I mean, it is literally tiny. I've seen at least three 10 pounders, 11 pounders, and also a lot of fives. The biggest problem is that the fish know that we're here. Like they literally just know that we're here because the water's so clear. Obviously the place is so small and I mean, they just know that we're here. They're not gonna bite, but there's another place right down from here. That's a little bit, just slightly bigger. And uh, we're gonna tote the kayaks down to there and see if we can get a shot at catching a big one. And then we'll come back to this one, see if we can get a bite. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Dude, oh, yeah, I'm good. I got my shoes nasty. Bro, I was going in, man. If I didn't hop like I did, I would have been a goner. <laughs> Alan, I will kill you. I will kill you if I go in here like a roller coaster. Alan? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, keep her coming. Are you gonna be good? All right. Oh, the nose of the boat's going under. I think we're good. Guys, please like this video. This has been the hardest video I've filmed. I've been doing this for almost seven, about six years. Please like this video. Hopefully there's some giants in here too. Oh my gosh, I got one. Yeah, you're running with me. Jerk bait, tiny dude. At least we got the first fish of the day, right? There's fish here. That is the smallest bass ever. Oh God, all right. We're gonna keep going, see if we can catch some 10 pounders because the last one had some tins in it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Reel's coming off, bro. And he's barely hooked, bro. He's barely hooked. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Get him up to me. Get him up to me. <laughs> there you go. He's like barely hooked. Yeah, he's barely hanging on there. Yeah, I thought you had a giant for a minute there, dude. There you go, man. That's Alan Ball's first fish. That's two overall. Not a bad one, man, on, a, no. on the trap. Trap. I thought it was gonna happen on that. It just looked Dude, like my reel was coming off my. <laughs> really? oh, yeah. I was holding my. Reel. Dang. You gonna get release on him? Second fish of the day. Yeah, man. Yeah. All right, baby. We have tied the trap back on. We're gonna give it a try. I just have a feeling they're gonna wreck this thing. You got him another one? There you go. Alan Ball's got him another. Oh, he came off. You got another one? 
Dude, what in the world? Dude, you look huge. The sun's in my eyes. I can't see. There you go. Alan Bob is wrecking him on that trap. Oh my God, he had it right away. Dude, I got one. I literally threw in, bro, and he already ate it. <laughs> Why am I catching these little dinkers? My second dinker, but he's a fish. Dude, I didn't even reel it and he already had it. It's like it hit the water, I clicked my reel and he had it. Another baby, yeah. <laughs> Another tiny dude. These things are all the same size. Except for that one that just missed me. But the six fish already. Oh my God, I got him. All the way across the pond, look at him rolling. I'm gonna just boat him across. Look at him. <laughs> that is my biggest one yet. Still a Twinkie. Still a Twinkie. These are beautiful fish though in this clear water. <laughs> They're just really, really colorful, really awesome. So there are a ton of ways to work a trap, rattle trap, whatever you guys wanna call it, lipless crankbait. There are a ton of different ways, simply yo-yoing it, stroking it up really hard, just simply reeling it, letting that thing hit the bottom, then stroking it up. I mean, there's a ton of different ways to throw this bait to catch bass. I, if you guys want a full video on it, be sure to pepper that thumbs up button and let me know in the comment section below and I can make a full on rattle trap video. I feel like that'd be pretty neat. But um, today they're biting it a little bit different because you're not going to have to every single day. You're really going to have to experiment. That's that's what fishing is all about is really experimenting and, you know, finding what's working, obviously. But every single day is going to be different. And today for these fish, what we really realize and instead of just throwing your rattle trap out there and just straight reeling it in like this and maybe popping your rod every once in a while to give it that sporadic movement. What we've figured out is you want to simply throw your bait out there and then start stroking your rod up just like this. And we're not going super fast. You know, we're going pretty slow. You stroke it up, you let your bait sink. Then you stroke it up again, just like that. Let your bait sink just like this. And those fish are just loading up on it. What's happening is when you stroke that bait up, one, one thing, is when you throw it out there, it's hitting the bottom, you're stroking it up and that bait's rattling all the way to the top. And then when you let that thing drop, it's just slowly wobbling like this. And it's not really wobbling, it's kind of swaying back and forth as the bait's falling down. And usually on the fall is when those fish are just gonna demolish it. I mean, they're gonna slam that bait and uh, it really allows them, especially on a tough day where these fish aren't really wanting to chase much. This is a really good technique to rattle trap fishing our uh, lipless crankbait fishing to really get some more fish to bite. It's because you're really slowing that bait down and you're really triggering those fish to commit. Yo, there's a giant. Yo, there's a giant. There's a giant right here. There's about a five pounder just swimming. So I actually have a June bug worm on and we are in clear water. So obviously I do not want to be throwing that color. I don't know if it really matters too much in this little pond, but I do have two green pumpkin ones left. A little smaller profile, trick worms. We're gonna give these a try and see if we can whack some on it. All the same size, bro. What have I, for what I've caught, I've caught baby dinkers. This one's a little bit fatter though. I give them that. Still a dink bass, like <laughs> major dink. Oh my God. Dude, I skipped all the way in the back of that thing, man. That's not a bad one. Oh man, he's black. Dude, he's up in that tree, man. I skipped all the way into the back of it. Oh, he's pissing everywhere. Look at that. Ooh, watch this. He's been living under there for the last decade. Gosh, guys, look at that fish right there. I skipped all the way into the back of this tree and just pulled this guy out. Look how dark he is. He has been all up under that tree. That is insane. Pretty little fish, nothing big. This is definitely my biggest from this pond though, but that is a pretty bass, man. I know in the last video I was talking about pretty much how I'm working Texas rigs around cover for bass. And what I've noticed 
especially when I was getting my bites on this thing, just simply dragging it today, just like this, and giving it a few little pops, like nothing, nothing crazy, but just simply dragging the bait on the bottom, keeping that contact, and then every once in a while just popping it. And usually when you pop that with those little tails fluttering on that crawl, that's what creates that little reaction bite, and they just cannot stand it. You just twitch that tail, and they just load up on that thing. They just smack it, because it gives that sporadic movement in the bait, and those fish just cannot take it. If you guys are wondering what we've been throwing at, there's some rocks just about right here, and then there's a big pipe that's sitting here. We caught about six fish right off this one hole. They're just all stacked on these rocks, reeling that rattle trap right by, and they just could not take it. We tried a drop shot, but they just would not commit to it for some reason. I have never seen a fish especially just laying on rocks just not eat like a slow moving bait or a drop shot or whatever it is blows my mind we are going to get this little old rage tail back out and see if i can catch one under this tree i'm pretty far away but i can still get it under it there should be a big in under there at least i know there's big ones in here now i saw about a five swimming around and then about a three following me back i don't know if you guys see that little tiny cubby hole i'm gonna skip right up in there just like that right up in that tree See if there's a big fish up in there. Come on, big bass. Oh my God, he has me. Oh, he came off. Dude, I skipped it all the way back. Yeah, he, oh, he took my curls. Help me out, Bobby. I'm coming in hot. Ugh. We actually just took out of this place. We're gonna be going back to that small little puddle and possibly fishing it from the bank. We are gonna try because I saw at least a couple 10 pounders, 10 to 12 pounders and some thoughts. I've never seen anything like it in my life. There is some toads in that puddle. <laughs> it just blows my mind. But we have about a mile tow back with their kayaks. Literally not mine. Like, this has been a rough episode. Let me show you what Alan Bob's doing right now. Show me what you got going on, Bob. Uh, no, I'm just tying up the kayaks <laughs> to each other. Literally, so we're tying these. We had some ropes from Yak Attack, and I, we tied his to the back of mine. Then we got these two ropes in the front, which we're gonna throw over our shoulders and around our waist and towed it all the way back. After this mile tow. Once you get it going. Yeah, once we, once we get past this. Oh, I got him. What? Huh. He wasn't even big, bro. No. He felt massive. That was probably the most embarrassing clip I've ever filmed. He felt like he was at least a solid four. That's where I call that one out there. Like, I, dude, these felt so big, man. I got him. He ain't massive, but I'll take him. I will take him for the first fish in this puddle that we've been trying to fish all day. Hey yo people, what's up? Back at you. About to end off this video. Got Alan Bob in the back. He was actually been practicing with my uh, old drone. It's like one of the first drones I've ever made. And so he was just toying around with it. Actually editing up this video right now. Sorry I did not get to post this last night. I've been having a lot of computer issues as well. I, I was just super exhausted yesterday. But I've it's been super slow. I've been trying to figure out my computer. But we're getting it out today if you guys don't know my upload schedule is usually tuesday thursday sunday 7 p.m eastern time it's probably going to adjust here soon just depending on um you know classes break that whole deal but what i would like to say is oh man this pond that we went to was <laughs> insane guys it's i know you didn't see much i know we caught a lot of small ones but that little puddle was insane like i've never seen so many 10 to 12 pounders like i saw literally like three there around 10 to 12 pounds i saw multiple around four to five pounds and it was just crazy. I've never seen so many big fish in my life, but it was really hard to get them to bite. See, that pond was super, super clear. And when you throw a kayak in a super clear pond, that's like a little puddle. That's kind of what you get. So the fish literally all knew we were there, but we gave it a try. We tried a new area and made that happen at least. And that was a tow. I mean, this was a video and a half, guys. I want you guys to know that. It doesn't seem like much, but this is one of the hardest episodes I've filmed in the past, like six years I've been running the channel. But overall, everyone, if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to pepper up that like button. Be sure to follow Alan Bob on Instagram. Be sure to follow me on Instagram as well. Yeah, you need to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit the post notification bell as well so it sends you post notifications after every single upload. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I got sky like the brother man, uh. I crack cars, get hella bands, uh. I got a bra from the motherland, uh. I got shooters with hands, uh. I get it, get it, uh. Anyway, uh. Pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh. I crack cars, cook every day, uh. I get money, uh. Every day, uh.